Uh, this is a view of the new SW Loretta program that uh, we are developing. Uh, it will be uh, an add-on inside of NeuroGuide so that uh, users can have an option to look at uh, still use the Key Institute Loretta and addition uh, use this new method called SW Loretta that was developed by Ernesto Soler who is working with Applied Neuroscience and is helping to implement this uh, series of programs inside of NeuroGuide. SW Loretta stands for Weighted S Loretta. Uh, S represents standardization. That is where you calculate the standard deviation of the currents in the entire source space or parts of it, and you divide uh, those uh, that the standard deviation into each voxel. Uh, this is done mathematically already by uh, NeuroGuide when we use the Z uh, normative database. Uh, for when you look at uh, Key Institute Loretta, that actually is mathematically S Loretta. But the W stands for weighted, that is weighted S Loretta, which is a method using a basic uh, physics developed by Clerk Maxwell in the 1800s and von Helmholtz to uh, in which the uh, distance from a source uh, involves a reduction in the magnitude of the current and so the deeper dipoles in the uh, cortex are weighted so that they have a better representation and a slight improvement in uh, localization accuracy. So this is SW Loretta. Uh, it involves a realistic brain, but we can also use the uh, standard uh, average brain that is used by the Montreal Neurological Institute and is inside of the key uh, uh, Loretta. Key Institute Loretta. Uh, if you look at that brain, you'll see it's kind of fuzzy. And the reason why the Key Institute Loretta uh, MRI is fuzzy is because it's an average of 305 individuals. So you can flip back and forth between those two but uh, in this new program. But what's important about this new program is that you can we will segment the brain in terms of gray matter and white matter. We'll get a better view, like we do with Brain Surfer, of the locations of uh, Brobman areas uh, and their projections to the uh, dural surface or the surface of the cortex itself. Uh, and you'll be able to also get connectivity, that is Loretta coherence, Loretta phase, and all the various things we currently have in the Loretta uh, Key Institute, but this will be uh, much more advanced. So I'm just going to give you a, a preliminary view through this as a heads up. Uh, we still have a ways to go. To complete it, it's going to be probably at least six months before we'll be or ready to go with this. We'll probably implement it in stages, but I want to kind of give you a view of what is uh, at where we are right now. The important thing about this uh, particular model is that one can rotate it and control it. Like you can see here, you can slice and go in between or down below and expose the brain in different ways. Uh, you can uh, zoom into different aspects of it. This is, uh, you know, a real person's MRI uh, that uh, gives you different uh, perspectives that are completely unavailable today in the Key Institute's uh, Loretta. Now, with those new tools, uh, you can use segmentation, which was not possible with the Key Institute. So you can isolate just the white matter. Uh, and also have projections of the sources uh, onto the scalp surface. So you can relate the electrical currents at the scalp surface to the actual connectivity of the white matter. So you can get these kinds of views and play around with it. So you can see where you can uh, um, uh, change things around. Uh, you can uh, go sagittally or coronally uh, through the brain, back through it, and look at it from different perspectives. And all of these, you'll have the z-score superimposed on it, so you can see the regions that are greater than two standard deviations, for example, uh, or regions that are greater than three standard deviations. You'll be able to set your threshold. You'll be able to select particular Brobman areas. Uh, or you can select all of the Brobman areas and scale them as a function of of, uh, uh, of their deviation from normal. Uh, you can also label these different uh, Brahmin areas. You can uh, 
there's, for example, there's a frontal sulcus, the inferior frontal uh, sulcus uh, with Z-scores that you can see. We'll have HTML uh, tags or uh, text that uh, you can click on different Broadman areas. Now, this is, you can also flip over to this uh, particular display like you have in the Key Institute where you have uh, sagittal, coronal, and horizontal sections through the brain. Uh, you can navigate through the brain here. We're, we're locating the uh, uh, telluric atlas coordinates uh, for the uh, inferior right, inferior frontal uh, sulcus and frontal gyrus involved in a variety of different uh, functions of the brain, very important ones. And this is an example of the um, the averaged brain from Montreal, the same that uh, the Key Institute uses. Uh, and um, that is fuzzy because it's an, an average. So we can uh, continue to zoom through these and uh, find out new things uh, as we explore with this new tool to be able to uh, advance our understanding of what's going on in uh, the neuroscience of inverse solutions in a very powerful way that we'll be doing in the future. And uh, we're looking forward to being able to look at the brain in these manners to provide our uh, users with these new tools uh, so that uh, they can further their uh, assessment and treatment of patients with a variety of uh, disorders from neurological to psychiatric, et cetera, uh, as we uh, expand our new uh, approaches to dysregulation in the brain. And this will also include the ability to uh, do a cross-frequency coupling between uh, beta and theta, for example, and also uh, cross-phase, amplitude, phase, and uh, uh, coupling. For example, the phase of the theta rhythm it can be uh, cross-correlated with the uh, amplitude of uh, beta, uh, which is a major method that's used in neuroscience today. And so we'll be implementing that particular uh, connectivity tool as well. So we'll have heavy emphasis on cross-frequency coupling uh, moving in the, f in the future uh, in both uh, standard key institute Loretta and then in the future uh, this new add-on uh, that is called SW Loretta. So we look forward to uh, seeing your reactions to these new products, and we're very happy to have the opportunity to work with uh, Ernesto Soler uh, and uh, Carl Biver and uh, Dwayne North and Emin Earl, Rebecca Walker, all together as a team uh, doing great things to uh, advance the field. So, um,